Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Sea Power. Today, we are hunting enemy submarines heading towards me. Me, today, is the William H. Stanley CG-32, as well as the Tucker and the Estesin. These are the only ships that we have. Uh, we already seem to have made out a couple of merchantmen, and these guys are seemingly, well, going to have a very interesting time getting very close. Uh, people, can we try not to ram each other? The US Navy already has a bit of a bad reputation in that department, and I don't mean to further that. So, submarine hunting. If we have access to helicopters, we're going to use helicopters. Thankfully, we do. We have one helicopter aboard. So, let's launch that. The Estesin also has a helo. We're going to also launch that. These guys are going to be very, very, very important in my detection capabilities. Because it's just something you can deploy a bit of a distance away. As opposed to hoping that you simply don't get killed on your way to <laughs> the objective, pretty much. Today's video is kindly sponsored by The Block Zone. If you want to build something outside of doing your PC gaming work, of course, The Block Zone has a lot of military vehicles that might interest you. Some of them you might actually find in Sea Power, some of them are fictional. Um, I'm particularly interested in the, uh, the Type 92 nuclear submarine. Unfortunately, the Type 9411 is sold out, so no Typhoon for us at the moment. But they have plenty of options. Now, um, if these projects are looking a little bit pricey, well, they are. If you add code STEALTH upon checkout, you'll be getting a little bit of a discount. You can get 10% discount. And you'll also be directly supporting the channel. So... Have a look at the block zone linked down below in the description. Pick a project that you like, add code STEALTH upon checkout, and you should be good to go. Enjoy. Alright, Helo is going to go through their takeoff sequence. I'm going to maintain MCON. Uh, Tucker is MCON, and Estesin is also MCON. Excellent. You're reversing, dude? Turn to course two. Turn to course Don't be silly. Yeah, we have a neutral airliner over here. There's the trilateral. There's our, well, one of our ships, and the other one's a cargo ship. And this thing's at three times speed, so yeah, it's it's definitely going to be going a lot faster. Here we go. Helo deployed. Helo, I do want you to scout out ahead. And does the Estesin have two helos or one? Yeah, you got two. Let's go. Let's send both, please. Because I do want them both. Um, you're going to scout out ahead of the Tucker. Can the Tucker even have helos? Supposedly, yes. Unfortunately, it's not carrying any. Okay. Now, what sort of weapons do we have available? We have RUR-5s, which are ASROCs, so anti-submarine rockets. Basically, depth charge is mounted on a bit of a rocket. They don't have a terribly great range, I imagine. Six nautical miles. It's not bad. This is a gearing class for those playing World of Warships. Yes, it has been changed a little bit. Um, the other one, the Estesin. Oliver Hazard Perry class. And the William H. Stanley is a Belknap class missile cruiser. We have standard missiles, which we might need if it comes to a missile fight, but I kind of doubt that, although they are SSGNs. We're hunting submarines with guided missiles. And in case you're new to submarine or, say, naval warfare, the N stands for nuclear propulsion. Okay, the helo's away. What else do we have on the stand, Lee? We got harpoons, uh, anti-submarine warfare again. We got Mark 46 torps and a bunch of guns and some defensive measures. Uh, again, defensive, defensive. Uh, 5,000 rounds for the 76. That's quite a lot. And we have uh, Mark, sorry, 24 standard missile ones. Okay. So you're going to have to rely upon the Mark 46 if you want to be able to get any kind of a hit on the enemy submarine. The torpedo range is only 8 nautical miles, so we'll need to get close. Tucker? 
You are gearing and you only have the RUR, really, and the torpedoes. Okay. Okay. Um, how far away are we from the ship right now? We're about four nautical miles out. I really like this about sea power. It just immediately, once you click on something, it says, yeah, your range to that thing or to everything else is 4.5, 3.3, 3.9. Makes it very, very, very convenient. Okay, time to start fishing. Um, do you not have a dipping sonar? You don't? Oh. Well, that's going to make it a lot more interesting. In that case, we're going to have to drop a sonar buoy. Um... Why do they not have... Okay. Sona Boy has a range of unknown. <laughs> Supposedly zero. Boy away. away. Excellent. Sona Boy in the water. And is going to sit there and just listen. I really thought we would have dipping sonars, but apparently the assets that I have right now don't have that. That's unfortunate. Some Russian helos already have it. Okay. Drop another one there. Drop another one there. And is our final helo airborne yet? Yes, they are. Alright. Off you go. In front of the Tucker. Actually, no. You can take position here. Uh, you can drop a Sona buoy there. No, not yet. Oh, you're dropping. Okay. The only thing that I have to go on is the fact that these guys are supposedly coming towards me. How far away they are from me, I don't know. Um, if I was a submarine commander, I might hide underneath a merchant. Because this thing makes so much noise that you're not that likely to get picked up. If you're a submarine and you're hiding underneath or very close to it. So that is a bit of a problem. Turn to course two, three. You're going to drop I there. Yes, you're going to fly here and drop there. Carry on. You're dropping about three to four miles in front of the Tucker. That's fine. Okay. You're standing by. Very good. So we have a little bit of a screen of Sona buoys that we're starting up. And I'm hoping that with that, I'll be able to start detecting these submarines. Drop another. We're again about four nautical miles away from the other one. I'm not sure how far away you should be. So this is just kind of guesstimating. Turn to course two, five, six. No my. Turn to course two, five, five. No my. Let's say another four nautical miles away from Sonobuoy at ten oh nine. Yeah, so that should be good enough. Turn to course two, five, zero. No my. Turn, turn buoy away. Very good. I'm hoping that I'm doing this right. Just building a sort of a screen of Sona buoys in front of my naval assets here. The Stanley, the Estesin, and the Tucker. Let's take it a little bit more upwards here. A little bit northwest. Drop there. Drop there. No, don't drop a torp. I mean, yeah, it's... I guess it's possible to drop a torpedo. Sometimes the AI just freaks out and goes, oh, crap, and they'll start launching noisemakers, which immediately gives their position away. It's a bit of a weird strategy, but it kind of works. Unfortunately, it's something that I think is a bit cheesy. Now, these Sona boys are not indefinite. They're going to shut down. Oh, 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 oh. They're going to shut down in 48 minutes, is what I was going to say. We have a torpedo. So somebody's been made.
Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're at least getting early warnings about these torpedoes. So these are the 5365K. Unfortunately, at the moment you can't click on that, which means I don't know what the range is going to be. But, assuming that that's where they are, they're most likely targeting the Tucker, the Stanley, or the Estesin. So, this is where the enemy submarines are at. That means I want you to drop a Sono buoy right there. I want you to drop a torpedo right there. And I want you to come here and drop a torpedo right there. That's how we're going to play this. The rest of the assets don't really have range. The Tucker only has those rocket pods and the Mark 46. They do not have enough range, so I can't really engage. Same for the Estesin and Stanley. What I can do is keep my ship safe by just heading in the opposite direction at maximum speed. Just get out. I don't know what the operational range of these torps is, and I'm not that eager to find out if I'm safe or not. So they put three torps into the water. This is when things are going to get very interesting. At least I detected them fairly early. Just imagine what would have happened if this thing would not have been detected. Actually, don't drop the torp yet. I want to have a Sona buoy on top of them first. I have six torpedoes airborne strapped underneath those helos. Okay, they are definitely interested in the Tucker. I'm not sure if the torpedoes are active yet, so we're going to send the Tucker southeast and hope that these torpedoes are just on a, a passive cruise mode, not actively searching for a target, which I believe they're not because they're not snaking, so they're not turning left and then right and then left and then right in sort of S pattern, which means they likely are not active yet. If you are able to get your ass away from the cone of the torpedo, such as the Tucker is trying to do, maybe we can survive simply by not being picked up. I think the healers are already doing top speed. Now I need to mark that position where the torps came from, which I should have done right away. Drawing tools, circle. Oh, we got already. Yeah, we got something. So let's say right about here. Eight decibels. You're a quiet little shit, aren't you? Okay, we're gonna drop a Sona buoy right on top of them. I'm gonna try and box them in first. Drop there. You're going to drop there. I'm going to keep tabs on this submarine at all times. To make sure I know exactly where it is. So that I can then safely engage it. We can pretty much see what it's getting detected by, right? Yeah. They're trying to detect what it is. Um, or sorry, they're, they're trying to figure out what it is. And we're getting... They're getting picked up by the USN uh, SSQ-53, which I think is the Sona buoy. Yeah, it's it's a Sona buoy. I don't know which one. Uh, confidence is only 0.14, so we barely have a clue. Last detection age, seemingly very re uh, recent. Okay. Tucker is beating feet away from there. I'm going to tell you to push in, Estesin. Stanley, head south. Okay, buoys are away. Helos are holding position. We're just going to listen for a minute. I think we have the situation with the torpedoes contained. We got one buoy, two buoy. There's the third. So I've sort of drawn a triangle around this submarine. I want to have a fourth one. By the looks of it, they're doing not a whole lot of speed. They're doing just about 10 knots. Let's tell them not to drop any more weapons on us. Torpedo away. Here we go. 
I can box him in with the other torpedo. That's the other buoy. Now, it said there is a group of submarines, supposedly, in the area. I'm not sure if it's going to be one or many, or if they're trying to scare me. I think the submarine is completely oblivious to my torpedo, because the torpedo is approaching from the baffles, directly from stern, which is where a submarine usually is deaf, because the propeller is there. Hostile submerged submarine, sure, but what type? We still don't know. We might never know, because if this torpedo is going to do its job, this thing is not going to wake up in the morning. Hit track seven, Boom. Zero, zero, eight. So that's one. I want to see what it does. Before dropping another torp on it. I want you to go here. It still has propulsion, by the looks of it. I don't like that. Where are those torps? They're just passing Sonobuoy 1011. Yeah, they're not going to hit the Tucker, I think. We should be fine. I'm not so sure this thing is dead. Range 0.6 nautical miles. We're way too close with this helo. So let's send the other one in. 1005. They're going to approach. And in order to do that, they're first going to have to move away a little bit. Something I'm kind of missing here is the fuel gauge on these things. I want to know when they're going to have to return to station. Or return to, to base for refuel. Here we go. Coming in for the attack, and torpedo is away. Excellent. Alright, that torpedo is going to cause all sorts of mayhem. They're doing one knot. And they just popped a noisemaker. Ah, would you look at that. That's their decoy. They're... Oh, by the looks of it, they're either damaged, because they're doing one knot, or zero. And... They might try to have the torpedo get distracted by the noisemaker. And I think they'll get it as well. Because the Mark 46 here is going directly for the noisemaker, not for the target. That's annoying. Uh, do you still have torps? Yeah, you do. Okay, fly to this position. See, it's like they do have a dipping sonar. It's like it is modeled. But you don't actually get to work with it. Weird. Yeah, the torpedo is definitely going to try and get a noisemaker. Oh, we got it. We got it. One of the submarines is dead. It was a Charlie 2. And it's been destroyed. Good. On station. Now, I really only got this guy by virtue of having a boatload of sonar buoys. So this is where Charlie 2 went down. Let's make a... Whoops. Let's make a mark. Uh, zoom in a bit. I'm not sure if the game keeps track of that. So drawing tools. Marker. There. That's where the Charlie went down. So that one torpedo was enough, and now the Mark 46 here is deciding that apparently it has not found its target because it went for a noisemaker and is going to try and reacquire by going in a circle. Okay, so let's go back to our searching duties. This is where one of them was. I'm going to assume that the other might still be in the area, but where? Where's the other helo? Here's the other helo. Uh, this is your station. This is your station. And this is yours. Actually, yeah, we got enough sonar buoys here. If there was another submarine here, we would have detected it by now. That noisemaker is going to stay active for a minute. Mark 46 is still circling. Probably won't find anything and eventually runs out of fuel and it dies. These torpedoes? Yeah, they're definitely not going to hit. Because the Tucker is long gone. 
I think we're still trying to use the formation here. Edit the formation. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Stanley, go here. I do want to line up. So we're going to set edit formation. Uh, Estesin on your starboard. Tucker on your port side. Um, no, sorry. They're heading in a southwest course. So the Estesin on their port side. Tucker on their starboard. Good. Time to find another submarine. Same plan. Keep dropping some of the boys. We have 12. One torpedo, two torpedoes, one torpedo. And another 10 buoys and another 10. I really hope that once you land a helicopter, it's going to get resupplied with additional soda buoys. Because I might need that. I'm not sure though. Did we lose track of the torps or what? One thing I'm still missing is just getting a right click on the union and then going to information because now I don't know exactly what the torpedoes are capable of and I'm going to have to go and go back to the main menu in order to figure that out. At least that's my current understanding of it. So that's something that I hope they change and I will suggest that to the developers. Try not to collide with the tanker. Okay. Turn to course two, seven, eight. Oh my. Buoy away. Buoy yeah, away. all the torpedoes are Buoy no away. longer a threat. The torpedo is still circling the Charlie, but <laughs> the torpedo is doing 28 feet, and apparently this thing has an altitude of zero feet, which I kind of doubt. No, like the torpedo is circling at 28 feet, and the submarine is down at 6,956 feet. I think we might not have any... Oh, hold on. We might not have any survivors. Why are you popping a noisemaker? There is, as far as I can tell, no direct threat to you, my dear submarine. You're 12 nautical miles out. A little too close for my comfort. Okay, so we're going to toss a Sona boy right on top of it. I want you to toss one there. I want you to toss one there. Why the hell isn't we get it? We... This doesn't make any sense. You only drop a Sona boy. Sorry, you'd only drop a noisemaker if you're expecting a torpedo to come after you. Hello. Hello. I suppose you're a submerged submarine, aren't you? Seeing as we don't have any friendlies in the area, and whales typically don't drop noisemakers, we should be able to engage this thing with extreme prejudice. Buoy away. Splash. There again, we got him triangulated. We, we got him trapped between sonar buoys. I want you to go stand off. I want you to fly over and see if you can pick him up on the MAD, the Magnetic Anomaly Detector, which is that little dish under the helo. It basically means that anything that is not in line with the Earth's magnetic field, so which is a magnetic anomaly, is going to get detected. Now, I don't have a clue why this thing dropped a sonar buoy. Oh, sorry, why it dropped a noisemaker? It shouldn't. It really shouldn't, because it was under no risk whatsoever. That other torpedo of mine? I'm not even sure if it's still active. Yep. We have it identified as a sub. So let's give him the good news. Torpedo in the water. Essentially, this helicopter is now mostly carrying Sonobuys and nothing else. It cannot do anything else 
but hope to detect stuff. Now, I wonder, if I fly directly over this thing, is it going to get detected by the MAD? By the Magnetic Anomaly Detector? It's a Charlie 1, a Charlie 2, or a Victor 3. You had a visual identification on it? I rather doubt that. Look at that. Confidence is growing. We're definitely getting more confident about what we're targeting. As long as the age keeps updating, that's good. Because I need that last detection age to be essentially nothing. That way, you are most likely going to be capable of directly finding the submarine. The longer or the older a track is, the worse it's going to get. Turn to On station. Mag there you go. Magnetic anomaly detection. Semi-small. So now we found it. I think my torpedo, however, was dropped too far away. So that's not good. We're going to have to drop another torp at him. Let's do it around here. And I might need the other one to come in as well. No. I don't want to drop the other torpedo yet, because we're running a little low on torps. I got one left on this helicopter, and another one on the other helicopter. Yeah, they popped a noisemaker. So now which is which? That's the noisemaker, that makes this the submarine. Okay. Now oh, they're playing it well. Turn to course two, nine two. No Lost the track. How about that? Contact made it. Track seven, zero, one, one. Lost the track. Oh, here you are. Here you are. Eight, five, no Sneaky bastard. It looks like the torpedo is not getting fooled by the noisemaker. Because it's still heading south southwest. Keep over them. Stay with them. Oh crap, it might be getting fooled by the noisemaker. Yep, there's the mat again. So you wouldn't get a magnetic anomaly on a noisemaker, it's too small. But something like a submarine, yeah, that'll definitely make a dent. Drop a sonar boy just for good measure. Give me another torpedo. Like there. Cool. Submarine, or rather warring, uh, combating submarines can be incredibly boring, I imagine, but also incredibly exciting. Once you actually find it, it's a hunt. See, we were supposed to track this thing. Can't find it anymore. Hit. Hit track. Seven, uh, 1711. Yeah, we definitely hit. Whoa! -ho! <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, boys. Well done. Well done. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that thing was how far down? How deep was that sub? Like six? No, not 600 feet. 360 feet. And that's one torp. On station. Where is that guy? On station. On station. More sensors in the water, please. There's the other Mark 46. Come on, boys. Drop them sonar boys. 
They're either dead. Holy crap, they drop a lot of noisemakers. They're either dead or they're wounded. Where are they? Turn to course one, eight, zero, no that torpedo's decided to do something. Oh, hello! Is that what we're doing? Okay, I see how it is. Something launched a torpedo. And based on where that's looking, I think it might be going for the Estesset. There's another. Sorry, the Estesin, not the Estesset. Okay. Turn the formation around. Best speed. One of my helos is pretty much out. You cannot engage with anymore, so can I tell you to go home? Turn to base. I'm out of torps with this one. I still have, what, one torpedo left? No, I got no torpedoes left. Okay. <sighs> They're heading north? Where are they going? To the Stanley. Possibly. Okay. There's another torpedo. Turn to course three. Turn to course three. Okay. One, five, oh my. I want more Sona boys into the water. Need more info. Because all of a sudden, with all this many noisemakers, like, there is a submarine here, but it's making such an amount of noise that I simply cannot pick it up anymore. So, we might as well just expand all of our sonar buoys. And then go home. There's one. Okay, so let's draw this, because they're somewhere here. Like, somewhere in this area. But they popped so many noise... But there! You sneaky bastard. Are you dead? You're not dead, but you definitely got hurt and you got no propulsion. You're surfacing?! Yes, he's coming to the surface. So in some sort of last-ditch effort, he launched a spread of torpedoes at me. Hello. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're doing an emergency blow. They're trying to get all the water out of the submarine, get the buoyancy back up, most likely because they know they're not going to survive. This is their last play. They're trying to save the boat, or at least have to save the crew, potentially. I think the, the submarine itself is just largely gone. Unfortunately, that Mark 46... Look at this. <laughs> it's a little busy. <laughs> uh, you. You can return to base. Navigate. RTB. Um, orders. RTB. Roger. That leaves me with one active helicopter here. Go take a look. Go take a look. Got him! Submarines destroyed. Well done. Nice. So they tried to do that emergency blow and apparently failed, but the crew has evacuated the submarine. They have abandoned the boat. Nice. Job done. Decisive victory. All ships undamaged. All Sona boys expended, all torpedoes in the water. Beautiful. I really love this game. Oh man, I love this game. And I hope you will too. I cannot tell you when it's coming out, but it's coming out this year. That's the plan, anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the sub hunt, and I'll see you soon for more Sea Power.